The law that the P&O, co the company themselves, are allegedly relying on uh, was introduced, I can tell him, as a result of EU directives. And, uh, and uh, never, uh, th uh, never forget, never forget, Mr. Speaker. Uh, and, and he may not like it. That's the reality. He would have kept us. He would have kept us unable to change it, unable to get out of it. Uh, he would have made it impossible for us to protect UK employees in the way that we're going to do. The Prime Minister is again deliberately misleading Parliament, this time claiming the UK could not increase work rights as a member of the European Union. What he's referring to is EU directives that establish minimum standards for worker rights, but they don't stop EU member states increasing protections. Article 5 of the EU Directive on Collective Redundancies specifically enshrines the right of EU member states to introduce more favourable worker protections. Article 5 states this directive shall not affect the right of member states to apply or to introduce laws, regulations or administrative provisions which are more favourable to workers or to promote or to allow the application of collective agreements more favourable to workers. But unlike Ireland and Spain, both members of the European Union who have outlawed the practice of fire and rehire, Johnson has now twice resisted increasing worker protections by actually instructing his MPs to vote down attempts to ban it. Steve Pearce, a professor of European law, tweeted, profoundly false claim by Johnson. The EU directive set only minimum standards, so the UK could have legislated for higher levels of worker protection. Stin Smizmans, a professor of European law, responded, warning to my students, any student stating this nonsense, as our PM does, will fail the EU exam. Associate Professor in Law Jacob Oberg tweeted, Whilst few in the room really believe these statements by Johnson to be true, I have to admit that I am perplexed of the boldness of the lies he is telling. As observed by Steve Pearce, the UK could indeed have legislated for a higher level of worker protection. The bottom line is Johnson's government promised to protect and improve workers' rights. But the reality is not only has it not done that, it's actively resisted doing so.